Welcome to AppMelodies.com, your go-to destination for insightful guides on Android app development. Today, we're diving into an exciting project, how to develop a Ludo game in Android Studio using Kotlin. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just getting started, this step-by-step -step guide will help you create a classic board game right on your mobile device. And the best part? We're giving away the source code for free. So, let's roll the dice and get started on this thrilling journey. Step 1. Creating a new Android project. First, let's set up our project in Android Studio. Open Android Studio and select New Project from the File menu. Choose Empty Activity as your template. Now, configure your project details. Enter your project name. Enter the package name. Select Kotlin as your language. Choose your target devices and the minimum SDK version. Don't forget to set the build configuration language to Groovy DSL. Finally, click Finish to create your project. Great job! You've completed the first step. Step 2. Adding a sound effect. Next, let's add some sound effects to bring your game to life. Now, download the provided zip file which contains the source code and sound effects. Extract the file, and you'll find a sound effect named dice underscore rolling.mp3. Add this file to your newly created RAW folder. Right-click on the Res folder in your project, select New, then Android Resource Directory. In the Resource Type drop-down, select RAW and click OK to create the RAW directory. Step 3. Adding Dependencies To ensure your game has all the necessary tools, we'll need to add some dependencies. Open your build.gradle app file and add the following dependencies. Once added, sync your project to integrate them properly. Step 4. Adding Drawable Files Now, let's enhance the visual appeal of your Ludo game. Open the extracted folder containing drawable resources. Navigate to the Drawable folder, select all the XML files, and copy them. Paste these files into the Drawable folder of your Android Studio project. These files will add the custom graphics needed for your game. Step 5. Adding Styles and Designs Time to customize the look and feel of your game. Open the themes.xml file in your project and add the provided styles. These styles will help in designing the game layout, ensuring it looks polished and professional. Step 6. Editing activity underscore main.xml 
let's define the layout of our game. Open the activity underscore main.xml file in your project. Navigate to the extracted folders layout section, copy all XML files, and paste them into your project's layout folder. This will set up the user interface for your Ludo game. Step 7, adding code to mainactivity.kt. Now, it's time to bring everything together with Kotlin code. Open the mainactivity.kt file. Navigate to the extracted folders Kotlin section, copy all .kt files, and paste them into your project's Kotlin folder. This code will control the game logic and interactions, Step 8, running the app. We're almost there. Ensure your project is loaded and synced in Android Studio. If you encounter any errors like build config, rebuild the Gradle. Connect your Android device via USB or set up an emulator. Select your device or emulator in Android Studio and click the run button, the green triangle icon. Your app will compile, install, and launch automatically. Voila! Your Ludo game is now running on your device. Congratulations! You've successfully created your very own Ludo game in Android Studio using Kotlin. Armed with the knowledge and skills from this guide, you're now ready to unleash your creativity and build even more incredible games. Remember, the only limit is your imagination. Happy coding and happy gaming! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to App Melodies for more exciting tutorials. See you next time.